Well, look at what we have here. So I just did a video about this. Um, how many seconds has it been? 10 seconds. What is YouTube's uh, stipulations for, for saying naughty words? That would be like, what, after 15, 20 seconds or so? <sighs> so how's everyone doing? How's everyone's week? I know it's only Thursday as of right now. Thursday, uh, the 13th. Ooh, hoo, hoo, spooky. Uh, so how's everyone's week? I'm sure you can read the reply that uh, I wrote. Okay, is it is it almost a minute? Okay, so I just did a video about this stupid fucking cunt who talks the big game. But what I tell you that she's she's a pussy like everyone else. She talks the talk because she's sitting around with her fucking uh, little uh, soy boy bitches who, who, who have like no fucking testosterone between them who all uh, all who all just sit there and fucking circle jerk her fucking cock while she fucking rants on about uh diversity and and how it's it's oh it's it's natural and because the world is now you know diverse and what even though we were just complaining about diversity in gaming not too long ago saying it's all white dudes somehow this quick rise in diversity is totally natural and not you know artificial at all as she sits in a room full of fucking white dudes or just white people in general but this is the fun part at the very end she talks about how she she wants people to to fight her physically um so this is from that park place uh kotaku <laughs> just kotaku come on senior editor Alison mccanty attempts to explain why she refused multiple fight offers after issuing the challenge to fight and so i came in with she's a cowardly fucking cunt not really needing any further explanation why uh where's what's there uh, what's there to explain she's a coward she's a tired old bag of a coward because that's exactly ex she's all talk um but this one kind of goes the article goes more into it um, it's a little lengthy, but we'll try to get through as much as possible. Um, challenge to fight, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Kotaku senior editor Alyssa McCanty, uh, McCanty is attempting to explain why she's refusing to fight anyone after being the one to issue a challenge to fight. Um, during an appearance on Giant Bomb, McCanty issued a challenge stating, I want people in the industry to be a little more louder about people being mean to other people. And maybe say it's not a good thing. Maybe say we don't want you around if you're going to be a cunt and hateful. And the game industry is naturally diverse. Not because anyone is making them to be diverse, but because the world is diverse. You stupid motherfuckers. And if you have a problem with that, come fight me. Physically, bitch. And then oddly, uh, oddly after issuing the challenge... Um, one of the other individuals in the room then asked if anyone had taken her up on it. She responded, no, because they're all pussies. Well, who's the pussy now, pussy? I told you. I told you. One, she's a fucking coward. And two, she knows that anyone, it doesn't matter if it was someone like, you know, a dude or even a chick, we would punch your fucking teeth through the back of your fucking skull. That is why you don't fight us. That is why you've turned down multiple fights. Because you know you are going to get your face rearranged. Maybe for the better. Maybe it'll knock that stupid smug fucking look right off your face. It'll smack the smug right out of you. You ever have humble pie? Well, you're not going to have a slice of it. It's going to be, it's like a fucking clown. That whole goddamn thing is going in your face. Um... The challenge was accepted by a number of individuals, including YouTuber Vara Dark, who posted, can't hit up this little bitch who's, been, uh, who's hiding behind a block, so send me a DM and let's talk match detail. Also, Vara, awesome, awesome chick. Awesome, very awesome woman. I've seen her many times. She's very wise when it comes to certain things, very wise. She's funny, she's well-spoken. You should really follow her. She's she's great. 
Um, she added, let's do one better and lay it out publicly. Winner gets 1K. Sounds good. Loser has to put up content publicly announcing their loss. An article from you, a video from me, meaning Vera. So if, you know, Alyssa was to lose, she writes an article saying, you know, that she lost. And Vera, if she lost, she would make a video because that's their medium. That's one's the article writer, one's the YouTuber. Um, and what, three months for a venue and train? Um, so there's actual tweet. Uh, YouTube, uh, YouTube, uh, YouTuber Mara Jade simply wrote, challenge accepted, sweetheart, while sharing three trophies for first place in judo competitions. Um, now, I had to respond to this one. That's sexy as hell. That's sexy as hell. I mean, these are people who show that not, you know, this whole idea that women are defenseless. You're not. You just have to be willing to put in a little bit of effort. Three first place trophies for judo. That's fucking badass. That's fucking badass. Um, but here Mara says, challenge it. Uh, come fight me physically, bitch. And then she just simply says, challenge accepted, sweetheart. Uh, La Reina Creole also wrote, as Miss Alyssa has blocked me, you can see that's a running theme because, again, Alyssa Mercanti is a fucking cowardly cunt who's all talk. And then when push comes to shove, she's a fucking coward. She feels all strong and empowered when she's sitting around her fucking, her little fucking soy bitch group. But then when it comes, you know, down to the line, down to the, you know, she's a fucking coward, just like the rest of them. That side is just full of fucking cowards. They're the ones who sit on, on YouTube and Twitter and this and that. And, you know, they sit there on their little couch and talk the big game. But then they're going and blocking people because, oh, God, they hurt my fees. Or, uh, you know, I, oh, there are too many people. To, I, I didn't think people would take me seriously. You're, you're the one who issued the challenge, you stupid fucking bitch. Maybe you should accept it now. Maybe watch what you say before you say it because... Yeah, you were talking that big game in front of your little fucking fan base there. But did you really think about the repercussions of said actions that maybe people are going to challenge you? Because you seem pretty confident in your uh, fighting ability. Um, as me blocked, so I won't accept a fight from a... Uh, okay, wait, so as Miss Alyssa has me blocked, I guess she won't fight, uh, won't accept a fight from a black woman. I'm still down for that throwdown. Come at me, you racist heifer. Nicely spoken, uh, La, Re uh, La Reina Creole. Um, yeah, followed by Memeology, Salty. You got any actual uh, pictures of her? <laughs> New York. Um, now she looks like one of those people just like, you know, the memes and stuff like that. Which is fine. That's that a Shrek. A Shrek pretzel. My Shrek pretzel with green booger sauce. I'm sure it's probably a different name, but um But and here's here's Mara. I would love to see this woman. I'm guessing it's covering up her actual name. I'm guessing Mara Jade is just an online name. Yeah, first place. Martial Arts Club Judo. Oh, wow. Wow, it is first place. That's, that's fucking hot, that man. That is... When a fucking girl can actually defend herself and... It... I mean, I know men are programmed to want to take care of women, but when seeing that, that's nice. Um... Uh, Mercanti initially attempted to entertain Dark's challenge, albeit she began putting her own stipulations on the fight. She wrote, no prize money, charity only. You, can, you can't stream it for your bigot viewers. So how would people know what happens? So people won't be able to know what happens, apparently, because, I mean, if she can't stream it, how is someone going to be recording it? 
because it's like, oh yeah, I beat her. Oh, 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 oh. you don't have proof that she won. So you can clearly see she's trying to manipulate the the outcome and the the you know her, the perception of people. This is what cowardly cunts fucking do. She knows she doesn't have any real power, so she resorts to manipulation. <clears throat> um, however, she made it quickly uh, made it clear she had no intention on fighting anyone when Daniel M. Keem, who runs Happy Punch uh, Productions, I understand like Keemstar like does a lot of boxing and uh like fights uh like getting him organized and stuff like that and that's what his uh company does um a company that organizes yeah pr promotes influence uh influencer boxing approached by uh <clears throat> approached both mercanti and dark to set up a match um mercanti made it clear that she had no interest in backing up her words teamstar posted dear listen mercanti and very dark happy punch will be happy We'll, we'll help you set up your fight. Uh, Mercanti promptly replied, not giving you any money, thanks. Uh, she would double down on this excuse multiple times. She wrote, you would earn money from this, and I dislike you. Well, the person who you dislike is willing to set up a fight between someone who wants to fight you after you openly put a challenge out there. And now, what do you know? You're running with your tail between your fucking legs because you're a fucking cowardly cunt. Uh, she then followed up uh, writing, so the promotion, the refereeing, the security, how do you pay for all that? Who earns money from the ticket sales? If all the proceeds from this event go to approved charities, that's a different story. But no morally corrupt person is making money off me. Hope that's clear. To keep moving that goalpost. Um, Mercanti continued to try to position herself as some kind of moral person when her actions have clearly shown that not to be the case. Nevertheless, she wrote, I am not a YouTube rage peddler. Vera has already been using me to make money and get views. She's not doing it for this. If you want uh, want to box, box for a cause, not to further uh, not to further boost your disgusting little corner of the that's all they do. That's all they fucking do is make fucking excuses. Um, according to the internet, <clears throat> and no, another one of your eight rage pellers can't host it either. I'll fight her in a gym anywhere. This isn't about clout. It's about what's right. Sure. I'd cross, I'd cross that girl up faster than she can make a thumbnail with my latest selfie. Uh, she added, "This will. Uh, this was always just another way to farm for uh, for her to farm engagement. That's proven by the fact that she never responded to my DM. Uh, double down on this uh, response to coverage from the author of in a previous article. Uh, she wrote, "My face, my likeness, my words, my posts have been making grifters like you and Vera money for months. I will not help contribute to that with a." You're a pussy and you're a cowardly fucking cunt. If you just came out and just said, no, I'm, I'm not doing it because, you know, I'm just a coward. Maybe we have a little more respect for you. But no, you're doing what they all fucking do. You know, you put out them fighting words, but then you're too much of a coward to fucking back them up. Instead, it's like, oh, well, um, I'm not, not going to contribute to uh, uh, your causes. Uh, to your little corner of the internet with you, you right-wing bigots and you homophobes and you racists and every other fucking buzzword that the left uses overly nowadays. Ugh, I'm not going to give in to that. No, you're a fucking cowardly cunt. Simple as that. Simple as fucking that. Um... We'll make many off of it. She added, charity only. She would not agree to it. I made it clear that this is about what I believe in and I don't need cameras to and I don't need cameras to box her. What? So then again, so if she ends up kicking your ass because there's no cameras, you'd be like, oh yeah, I totally kicked her ass. And then when she goes online, be like, uh, no, you didn't. I won. Oh, she's just a sore loser. Manipulation. She's trying to manipulate the situation because she's a fucking coward. Uh, she then 
She then said I was trying to legally street fight her. She never responded to my last day. I'm sure she did. Uh, which I posted in a reply to her and on my own page. Uh, go back to reviewing Epcot bathrooms or whatever it is. Well, maybe you should get back to writing some uh, game guides. Yeah, yeah, you see? You see? We can do that too. You're not that fucking smart. Um, this is similar to what McCanty DM to Dark, which Dark shared to X on June 12th. She wrote, you make money off of cloud chasing and rage baiting. Why would I allow you to do that with this? Charitable causes only, ticket sales included. I'm not scared of you, Vera. Not in the slightest, babe. McCanty continued, and I block you and others of your ilk because you use all of my social media posts as content for your videos. So that's just a little hurdle I have. Uh, I like to make you have to jump. Uh, I like to make you have to jump over, if you can manage without, uh, uh, manage without pulling something. Oh, you mean like the fucking things you're doing? Instead of just agreeing to Keemstar saying, "Oh wow, you're really willing." To no, no, I don't want to. No, because I don't like you. I don't like you. No, and I don't want it filmed. I don't want it filmed because I'm not going to let you stream to your bigot fans. Nope. Nope. I want to do it in private where no one can see us because it's not about cameras. It's about what's right. And then when I lose horribly and it's obvious that, obvious that my face was rearranged, I can tell everyone that I won. I can tell everyone I won. I won morally because someone beat my face in and I was just doing the right thing. Uh, Keemstar makes money off of promoting poxy matches, and he's also a piece of shit just like you, she wrote. Would you agree to me letting, uh, letting uh, Hassan, po why would you let Hassan post, uh, host it? You think that Keemstar is a piece of shit, and we know Hassan Piker is a fucking piece of shit. So you want to exchange one piece of shit for another piece of shit? Isn't this like going back to the whole douche and turd? I mean, I mean, I don't know about Keemstar that much. I know who he is. I know what he does. But, I mean, I, I see he has a lot of people who don't like him. Um, be so for real. No one makes money off this. Charity only. You'll have to get your ass beat for free. Uh-huh. Of course. Uh, Dark responded... If he had actually been serious, I would have said, cut that shit straight down the middle. You can get content creators you like to film. I'd get mine. Um, I mean, that would be great. So that way, no one, it'd be, it, it'd be more better. It, it'd be better to have someone who's, you know, not really privy to either of them. Because her people could manipulate, the other person would manipulate. You want something showing, ex it, it's, it's like fucking news stations you know taking what the president says manipulating it or the former president manipulating make people like, oh my god he can't he said that but then you go watch the full clip and he said nothing like that very fine people yeah go watch the full clip when people find out that it was taken out of context for you know the point of pushing this message they're like oh wow that's a real dick move so you know, it's better to get someone recording this who is, you know, not on anyone's side, an outsider. Um, I get mine, you can have your sponsors, I can have mine, you can donate to trans charity, I can donate to one of my choice, but I'm over your back and forth, uh, but I'm over your back and forth bullshit, Alyssa. I don't play this game of blocking and unblocking people I don't like. I have no people blocked for a reason. Yeah. I mean, muting people is one thing. Like, I'm so tired of going on to Twitter and seeing the one dude, what's his name? Uh, Morgan J. Freeman. Uh, Freeman. He's like, I'm going to post this every day until the election. It's like fucking January 6th shit. Like, people really care about that anymore. So I just, I kind of mute them, but I don't block anyone. Um... 
if you want to talk to me on a public platform, don't hide from me. And that's your game I luckily don't have to play. Uh, she concluded, you had a chance at a professional level event being set up and said no instantly. You rejected my stipulations from the start because you didn't want me streaming it to my bigot viewers. Uh, you then said you're a busy gal working. Get back to writing those game guides then because working your hardest isn't getting you far. I put up more content in a week than you put up in a month. Let me, hang on. Yes, hi, I like to report a murder. John, you lied. Your phone wasn't even on. It's on. I just didn't press anything. Wow. I pretended. Just like she's pretending to be tough shit. And she's not. Um, pretty clear McKenny has no intention on fighting. Her entire plan was to posture herself as a tough defender of woke ideology, but her actions reveal her true... Yeah. You see this all the time. They'll talk the good game, and they'll sit there and try to act like the intellectuals, but then as soon as you turn it back on them, they get violent. They fucking start swearing at you. Uh, she outright issues this, this uh, challenge. And then things of every fucking possible way to not do it. Because she is a cowardly fucking cunt. I mean, maybe even Frost would have had enough dignity to fucking challenge someone and then accept said challenge. But this smug, nasty, narcissistic, egotistical, self-righteous piece of fucking shit issues the challenge... And then when someone, people, not just someone, multiple people, she just makes excuses of why she can't do it. Because she knows they will knock her teeth through the back of her skull. They will rearrange her fucking face. And she knows this. Um, let's see if she's got an Instagram. Yep, everyone's... Everyone's got an Instagram these days. Everyone's got... Ooh, what's that? Ooh. Gordon Ramsay fish owned chips. Actually, kind of looks like shrimp, but I'm like... Or whatever. Magical Kingdom during Christmas. Nice. So there's... La Rena. Let's see, link tree, Instagram, what do you know? As I said, everyone has Instagram. I'm sure your grandma has Instagram. Oh, oh, the giddy giddy. Oh, uh, looks like, looks like uh, my little D Luke, wherever he is. All right. I mean, so, you know, what do you expect from all oh, the pooch? Oh, this sweet baby. Yeah. I mean, she looks like she'd be able to, she'd be able to kick her ass. I mean, seriously, this, um, <laughs> chickened out, didn't you? No. Do it, pussy. Do it, pussy. Yeah, all bark, no bite. Exactly. Again, that's how they are. They pick. They put up the good, the 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 big game, and when push comes to shove, then they start getting. You know, they start just lashing out verbally. They start calling you racist and bigots and homophobes and this and that, thinking like. Oh, this will make them stop because they don't want to be labeled as these things. Not really realizing that those words mean nothing now. Every time the left disagrees with you, you're a racist. You're a bigot. You're a homophobe. You're a Nazi. You're this. You're that. You're every phobe is an ism under the sun. And they think that's going to stop people now. It's like, okay. I've said this before. When they start, just when, whenever people like her start calling you a bigot or a racist or homophobe or Nazi, just be like, yeah, I am. Heil fucking Hitler, bitch. 
It's just like, I don't care. You people use those words. You keep using that word. I do not think it means what you think it means. Um, can't expect much. Can't do it. Can't do it. But I saw this. I was like, yeah, people might want an update on this because uh, ah, this is just too good. Also, Sam. Sam knows a thing or two about pussies. Sam, is Alyssa a pussy? Yeah, he said yes. He was he, he, he was laying on his side and they rolled on his back and with nice big meow. He's like, yes. He knows a thing or two about pussies. You know about pussies, and so do I. And that right there, it's a fucking pussy. Yeah. Want to come up? What? Yeah. What? You want to come over? Sometimes he just doesn't want to jump down there. He wants me to, like, rotate my body over so he can, like, a bridge. Look at him. He's just waiting. He just wants me to move around so I can just climb over. Yeah. See, look at that shit. He's like, turn around. Can I help you? What's in your eye? What? Can you say hi to everyone? Say hi to everyone. Yeah, say hello to everyone. What? What? Oh my god, John, you have such a good relationship with your cats. Yeah, I know. Hey, he's been my little buddy for like 10 years, huh? Yeah, for like 10 years. You've been my little buddy. Yeah. What? What did you do, Bubba? Well, wasn't expecting to have a video featuring Sam, but yeah, it's featuring Sam. It's featuring Sam. Yeah. What, Bubba? Look into his eye. But, um, yeah. Is anyone surprised that she didn't take the, uh, take the, the offers? Not really. Because she's a fucking cowardly cunt. And that's what cowardly cunts do. They issue the big threats. They issue the big, hey, look at me, I'm, I'm offering this. And then when people finally take them up on that offer... They block them, and they think of every reason under the sun why they're not going to do what they said they were going to do. Simple as that. But, um, Sam, please don't hit my mic. It's very expensive. Yeah, I know. Okay. You have anything to say to anyone, everyone before I, why, before I go? You have anything to say? Okay, I'm going to go then. Okay, I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. Okay. Okay. I'll go. I'll go. Huh. Okay. Anyway, Sam wants some some time with me because he likes being cuddled because he's a little needy boy. So that's gonna do it for me. You guys know the drill. I'll see you guys later. Sam, you wanna say bye? Bye.